Hey guys, it's Hannah. I am going to do a book tag for you guys today. I'm going to do the chocolate book tag because it is January and I've just had a sweet tooth lately, which is not good. And I have too much chocolate in this house. So thought it would be good. And I know it's a really old tag, but I am just going to do it. So deal with that. Mm -hmm. First off, we have dark chocolate. A book that covers dark subjects and themes. And for this one, I chose A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This, as you guys know, I've just started reading it, and it does cover very dark tones like incest and murder and rape and all the things in medieval times and in this fantasy world that there's, it's just death. That's it. Yep, but it's so good. <laughs> just make sure that you are up to it if you're gonna read it. Next we have White Chocolate, a lighthearted read. And for this one I chose two books just because I wanted to. I have Gail Carson Levine's um, A Fairy's Return and Other Princess Tales. It's really it's really just a, a compilation of like 12, not really, I think there's like five, six little fairy tales that are just quirky and by like Gail Carson Levine wise, you know, I'll Enchanted, and they're just funny, and I just pick this up if I'm bored and want a quick, lighthearted read that makes me laugh. And also, you know, anything by Shel Silverstein or a comic book, I have Calvin and Hobbes up here. <laughs> Seven Calvin and Hobbes books and an Archie comic, so any of those. Next we have Milk Chocolate, and that is a book that is really hyped right now and that you really want to read, and for that I chose The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This has been going around booktube and everybody's been saying that it's awesome. This is a fantasy book about a girl who is a dreamwalker and that is illegal where she is so she has to go and join like a bunch, a group that's illegal and doing illegal things in order to use her powers as a dreamwalker for things. I don't know. I <laughs> haven't re seen, I haven't looked that much into it because I kind of just want to run into it without knowing too much and that's how everyone said that it would be best so I'm excited to read that. Next is Chocolate with a Caramel Center and it's you're supposed to pick a book that made you feel all gooey inside. And you guys know that I don't read that many contemporaries so I had to pick a different kind of book <laughs> and I chose Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. This book made me feel all gooey inside just because I ship Cinder and Kai and Scarlet and Wolf so hard. Definitely Scarlet and Wolf just because they're um, defying the odds with him being a uh, wolf man and all and just he goes you're my alpha so I, I love their relationship. <laughs> Next is A Way for Free Kit Kat and this is a book that surprised you and I'm gonna choose one of my favorites for last year as you guys know I'm going to pick The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This book surprised me just because going into it, it's really intimidating and I wasn't sure that I was going to like a big fantasy read. I had tried to read it on audiobook and I could not get into it just because there's so much description and everything and I just would zone out. And so finally I picked it up and was very hesitant just because it's huge and it was the first big fantasy that I decided to read but it blew my mind and you guys know that and you need to read it so that's it next is chocolate with nuts and that's a book that you're going nuts about at the moment and i'm going to choose air of fire by well the entire series the throne of glass series this is just the last one that's come out the next book is going to come out next year this is the third one in the series and it is just so good you guys have heard me rave about it enough and I'm sure that you have already picked it up to read. Start with Throne of Glass. I've already gotten so many people hooked on it. You just rush through it. All the fantasy. So good. So good. And last, it's a box of chocolates. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know which one you're gonna get. For this chocolate, you have to pick a series that has a bit of everything in it and you think that everybody would get something out of and would enjoy. And I chose The Inheritance Cycle, the Aragon series. And I don't know why, but I haven't really heard anything about it on booktube. I haven't seen people raving about it or anything, and I know it's really old. Like, it came out when I was, I don't know, in like 8th grade, I think? 7th or 8th grade. But I read all of them, and they were so good, and Christopher Paolini just became 
an idol because he wrote this series when he was 19, which is how old I am, and I cannot fathom that and got it published. And he just created such a great world. It's got dungeons and dragons and magic and a new language of its own and elves and shades and heroes and villains. Oh my gosh, it is just so good. And I love all the creatures and all the aspects between Aragon and his dragon Zephyra, even up to the last book, even though they left out a cliffhanger, which I don't appreciate. But yeah, so Aragon, Eldest, something else, and then Brissinger. <laughs> and so yeah, you guys should pick that up if you want to get into fantasy as well. So that was pretty quick and sweet. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you do, keep watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!